Hey guys, doing a funny little live video here. Let's see if I can get my leg out of the way. I'm gonna be barefoot. Sorry about that for anyone who is offended by that sort of thing. I've been trying to get the katana to sound like the Princeton, and let's see uh, let's see how close I got. So that is the katana. Let's start with the Princeton before I get too deep into this. See how close I got with the katana. Back to the Princeton. I'm sure the uh, the audio quality here is not great. I'm just using an iPhone microphone, um, but it it sounds really close to me sitting here in the room with it. Even the uh, even the reverb, a little bit of a reverb that I have on there sounds really close, which is a little bit upsetting to me. That's the that's the Princeton. I mean, the reverb is not perfect in the katana, but it it. It gets me there. That was the katana. That was the Princeton. I mean, they're pretty close. What I did with the katana is that um, I put it on the clean on a clean setting. I'll, I'll come over here and show you. Put it on the clean setting here. And someone was saying online that the way to run these things is to dime the, man, the master and then control the volume over here. And by the way, I've got it on 25 watt. I don't know if 25 watt controls anything to do with the tone or if it's just volume control. Uh, brought the gain over here, up a little bit, but not down all the way, so there's a little bit of hair on it. And then the real secret is here in the effects bay. And what I did is this thing is plugged in via USB, runs all the way over here to my computer, to the little thing here. And I'm running a graphic EQ to pull some high mids and then boost the highs and kind of flatline the lows and pull a little bit of the low lows out and then another trick is on the booster setting I've got a treble boost that's just barely pushing a little bit of grit into the high end and that seems to really push it into that Princeton sort of territory there's a lot of tricks and bells and whistles in the software for this thing guys so I'm hoping to do a lot more demos with it here in the future show off kind of the crazy stuff you can do with the software. I'm gonna probably do a proper Princeton shootout demo in the near future too, but just sitting around here messing around with it, I wanted to share. I hope you guys uh, got something out of this.